Hello everyone, this is Miss Julia here at the Collierville Birch Library bringing you another virtual craft afternoon. And today we are going to be making an enchanted rose, kind of like from Beauty and the Beast. Uh, it's a very interesting project using a lot of different materials. Whoops! <laughs> so why don't we get into it? So for this you're going to be needing a paper towel. You will need some watercolor paint. I'm using liquid watercolor. Um, if you're going to use the liquid watercolor, you'll also need some bowls and some water. Um, if you're just using normal watercolor, that works fine too, uh, in which case you'll probably need a paintbrush of some sort. Um, you'll also need some yarn, preferably green, a popsicle stick or something else to use as the stem of your rose. So this could be a chopstick or a green pipe cleaner, whatever you have on hand. Uh, you'll need some scissors, some clear plastic cups, a writing utensil, some sort of cardstock or cardboard, and some glue. Now I'm going to be using hot glue just for time's sake. I believe you could also use like tacky glue. For this project it just takes a bit longer for everything to dry. And I want to make sure that you guys can see the finished project rather than waiting to watch glue dry. So we're going to start off by doing the petals of our rose, in which case we're going to take our paper towel uh, and we're going to paint it. Uh, so there's different ways you can paint your paper towel. You can just brush on paint like you would on paper. You could take like a dropper and drip paint on so it sort of absorbs into the paper towel. You could put it in a spray bottle and spray the paper towel. I myself am going to do sort of like a tie-dye method. So I'm going to scrunch up my paper towel and I have these bowls prepared actually with some of my diluted uh, watercolor paint. So there isn't any real measurements for this method. Um, however much like liquid watercolor you put in, the darker your color is going to be. And the more water you put in, the lighter the color is going to be. So it all depends on the sort of color that you want. So you can prepare your bowls of liquid watercolor paint and scratch up your paper towel and then sort of dunk it into your paint and hold it there for a little bit. You don't want it to go all the way through because you want a bit of a dry spot so you can put it in your other colors. I would say maybe two to three colors for your rose. Um, if you get too many, it's going to start to bleed together really badly and just make this green or brown mess. So then you can dump, dunk it into other color so that you get more of a tie-dye effect. So now I have my orange and my purple and I'm actually going to squeeze out the excess or excess rather. And then you're going to carefully unfold it like so. So you'll have your painted paper towel and then you'll set this aside to dry completely. Um, if it's a sunny day outside you could set it outside um, with some weights on it to make sure it doesn't fly away. It shouldn't take too long to dry. Uh, obviously I don't have that kind of time so I did a bit of painting beforehand and so I have my painted paper towel here all nice and dry. It has this lovely texture from being scrunched up um, and I actually don't need this big a sheet so I'm just gonna cut it in half here. So you only need like the small rectangle rather than the, the full square sheet. So once your paper towel is all dry, you're going to fold it in half. Just so we can get the crease, because we're actually going to cut this in half. So now I can kind of see where the middle is. I'm going to cut it in half. So we have our two lovely halves. I'm going to set one to the side for right now, and then I'm going to fold another one, or I'm sorry, fold this in half again, like so. And then I'm going to take my stem. Now if you just have a plain popsicle stick at home, um, I'm lucky that I have some colored, color, colored popsicle sticks here, but if you have a plain one you can color it green or paint it green. Um, same with if you have a chopstick that isn't green. Um, or actually you could color it whatever color you want your stem to be. So once that's all colored, you're going to put some glue at one end and you're going to stick it onto your folded piece of paper towel. And let me 
show you how that works. Again, you are welcome to use tacky glue. I'm just using hot glue um, for the sake of time. I actually used tacky glue for this example piece and it worked out just fine. It just takes longer for it to dry. So once you have it glued at one end, we're gonna start rolling uh, it down the line. Now the trick is, is you want it sort of pinched and tight at the bottom here, but sort of looser at the top, because the top is gonna be where your petals are, and we want it loose, looser so we can sort of fluff it up. Um, so you just start rolling, kind of making sure you pinch the bottom here really tight, um, and you keep going until you reach the end. So we'll just fast forward to that point. Go. So there's the first bit, and we're actually going to do the exact same thing with our other half. So I'm going to set that aside for right now and fold this guy in half. Um, now if you're using a pipe cleaner uh, that's a bit longer than this popsicle stick, you might be able to get away with just leaving this unfolded. Um, but since my stem is so short, I need to fold it in half so that, you know, the rose doesn't cover half the stem. Um, like I said, we're gonna fold this in half for my version. And we're gonna put some glue onto this end here of our already made petals. Oops, if I don't take it apart first. There we go. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, just sort of pressing it in and rolling it down. So again, I'm going to speed ahead to the end. We go. So you can kind of just pinch it more towards the bottom there. Um, if you want, you can put a little glue um, at the end here to sort of keep it down, but actually it won't be completely necessary because the yarn that we tie around that bottom of the, the rose there will actually hold everything in place. So that's actually what we're going to do next, is we're going to take a length of yarn. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. Actually, it looks like I have a pit cut, so that's nice. And we're gonna wrap it around um, the, the bottom of the rose. Now there's a couple ways you can do this too. If you want to, you can leave a little tag um, when you start and wrap it around so that when you get to the end, you can actually tie a knot between the tag and the end, other end. Um, otherwise, if you wanna use glue and glue down each end, that works too. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna do sort of that glue method with a little tag. So I'm actually gonna have my, my little tag here and I'm gonna wrap around so that eventually my tag is wrapped around in the yarn so it should hold it in place. Um, so we'll just keep doing it to the bottom of the rows, making sure it's nice and tight and keep doing that until you get sort of the effect that you want. So we'll speed ahead again. So if you did do the two tag methods, this would be the part where you would tie the knot. Uh, me, I'm just going to use a dollop of hot glue to sort of pin that yarn down. You might have noticed I struggled a little bit at the beginning um, to get my yarn around. That was okay. I just, you know, undid it and started again and it worked out fine. Uh, so now we've got the basic rose form and from here you can kind of shift your your paper towel around a little bit to kind of fluff up the the petals uh, you can keep doing that until you get the effect that you want uh, i'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step so you can see we have our rose in a glass case of sort so that's where you're going to need your clear plastic cups now my rose is short enough that it's able to fit into just one cup. If you're using the pipe cleaner for a stem, um, it might be too tall for just one cup, in which case you could actually sort of tuck it in to your cup, to one cup, and have another cup on top of it to create that um, case effect. But mine is short enough that I need to just do the one and have a cover. So I'm gonna take my plastic cup 
and I'm going to trace out a circle on my piece of cardboard or cardstock or whatever it is that you're using. That way I know it fits around my cup. And we're going to cut that out really quick. There we go. Um, and then I want to mount my rose onto the cardboard circle. Uh, now for my example piece, I used hot glue to hold it down. If you don't have hot glue, you could probably use like a little bit of clay or play-doh or something similar to sort of create a uh, mound on the center and then stick your rose in so it sticks up. Um, but I'm going to use the hot glue method. I'm just going to put a bunch on the end of my rose's stem and stick it on. And then I might need to go back and kind of pile it again more, rather, around the rose. And you will have to hold it in place until the hot glue cools. Um, so I'll skip ahead to the point where it's fully stuck. Hopefully that's cool enough. Um, so you might have seen that it took a while for the hot glue to cool enough for me to be able to let go. If you don't have that kind of time, you could probably put something behind the rose to prop it up on as the hot glue cools. Um, otherwise, if you blow on it a bit, it will also help cool it down faster. So that's basically going to be the stand for our rose. Um, now you can see here that I put glitter in here. You do not have to put in glitter. I just thought it would make it look pretty. Um, if instead you maybe you want to put like some fake moss or something around the bottom to sort of hide your your play-doh or your clay or your hot glue mound um, that is up to you i'm going to just show the glitter method so i'm going to take my cup and i'm going to put in some glitter again this is completely optional you do not have to do this this is just a combination of different glitters glitter gets everywhere do be warned just put a couple pinchfuls of glitter into your cup and then you're going to put hot glue around the base of your, I'm sorry, around the edge of your base rather and flip it over onto your cup and glue it down. So you might have to work a little bit faster with this um, just to make sure the hot glue doesn't cool before you are able to stick it onto the cup. And you're gonna flip it over onto your cup and press it down. And then you can flip it over. So now you have a glittery bottom and some of the glitter will get onto the rose itself. And there you have your enchanted rose. Um, I hope you all enjoyed making this lovely little craft. Other than that, I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!